Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our slash nuclear revenge. In today's episode. Site manager neglected to take care of my property, so I cost the property management company over 500k. Sorry, my shift is over. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Site manager neglected to take care of my property, so I cost the property management company over 500k. Some background, I, 35M, own a 72 units apartment complex. When I bought it, it was in a good shape and I spent several million getting all apartments renovated. The rent wasn't increased for any of the tenants and I made sure that it never went up by more than $50 a year for lease renewals, baked into the leases. Shortly after all the renovations were completed, I started the search for a property management company and ultimately settled on one that seemed well aligned with wanting to put the tenants first. As we were doing the contracts, I had my real estate friend also look at them. Between him and my lawyer, they recommended having a clause added in there. The short of it is, if there are any legal actions brought up against me for the apartment complex due to neglect of the property management staff, the property management will be responsible for all those costs and any legal fees incurred. This wasn't added in secret, and the legal team from the property management company agreed and everything was finalized. They took over the management of the complex a month later. I was fairly hands-off and only visited the site every three to four months. Other than that, I'd have the monthly updates sent to me by the manager on site. A few months ago, I found out that a couple of the apartments had been left in severe shambles after the tenants moved out, and the cleaning crew we had took care of it. I didn't find out until after the fact that it was not completely accurate because one of the apartments apparently had a bad roach infestation in the storage closet outside the apartment. After the new tenants moved into that apartment, they brought up the issue to the site manager. In the monthly reporting the site manager claimed that maintenance staff tried to address with it traps and bug bombs. I didn't think too much of it and left it at that. Next month, the same thing. And the third month, after receiving the monthly report, I called the site manager stating there is a reoccurring issue and I wanted it taken care of professionally at that point. The month's rent was waived for the tenants in that apartment, and they were put up at a hotel for a week while the issue was to be addressed. Once they returned to their apartment is when the issue started. The site manager either by mistake or by negligence didn't communicate with the exterminators the extent or the location of the infestation. Instead of the storage closet, the apartment was fumigated, and after that, the roaches made their way into other apartments in the same building and the nearest building, and the problem got so much worse. The same option was given to all the tenants in that building, waiving the month's rent and putting them up in a hotel for a week while the issue is addressed. They all took that offer up, however one of the tenants decided to take legal action. While I wasn't t happy about it, I understood where they were coming from, having their lives disrupted by something that should have been addressed properly to start. As we were midst negotiating with them during mediations, my lawyer reminded me of the clause with the property management company and suggested we give them what they want. That is where I started my nuclear revenge. I had the rest of the tenants from the two impacted buildings be suggested to anonymously that one of the tenants had filed a lawsuit for the damage and they should do the same by getting in on it. Through the mediation I pretended to be outraged at the whole matter. The negotiation started at three months of free rent but ultimately we all settled on one year of free rent for all those tenants. U 
Overall that came out to 16 apartments with rent averaging from 1700 monthly that the property management had to pay for due to the negligence of the site manager, equaling to roughly $325,000 in just the lost rent they had to pay for. And the cherry on top, due to the breach in service for property maintenance, they also have to provide free services for up to six months while I seek out a new property management company, costing them an additional $146,000, and still pay for the legal fees on top of that. Sorry, my shift is over. Many years ago, I worked for a cafeteria slash catering company. The catering was much the more lucrative of the two. Between mealtimes we would work on catering projects. This would often run us past the end of our shift, resulting in overtime. One of the management team, recently promoted, decided his thing was going to be eliminating overtime. He held a meeting and announced to the staff there would be no more overtime. Clock out at shift's end, no exceptions. After, he got me aside and told me as a supervisor, I was expected to set an example. Okay, sure. A couple days later, I was working on a cheese display. When my shift's end came around, I put everything down, walked to the clock and swiped my card. I hear, hey, where are you going? That's not finished. No, but my shift is. I'm setting an example. I answered. Well, go finish it. I can't. I'm off work now. And left. The next day it was announced that all projects underway at the time would be allowed to be finished regardless of time, as long as it wasn't abused. In other words, no foot dragging. Turns out all the hourly employees also left, and he had to finish several projects by himself. Since he was on salary, there was no overtime for him. I understand he stayed quite late. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.